Hello again, adventurers, and welcome to another episode of Grim Plays Willy Nilly Night. I did all my inventory management stuff off screen so that you guys didn't have to watch the boring part of this. And uh, so now I'm back where those two phantom mages are, the lich, and the two guardians, or guards. So we're going to go in there and see what happens. I don't know if you're talking to him or if you actually fight him in this part, but we'll find out. And I think he is a reference to the um, Wrath of the Lich King, the, the Lich Arthas, because he kind of has that crown on that Arthas had, so kind of interesting. But uh, we'll go back to the resident Residence of Evil dungeon in a little bit. But I want to get this out of the way first, so we're going to go ahead and head in and make this fight. Holy cow! I got him a new axe while I was in town and a new hammer. He just did a ton of damage with that. Scoot her up for the next fight. You are persistent, I'll give you that. Just like Merlin all those years ago. That is why I agreed to teach him. Your master, please. You lose a lot when you die, girl. Your name goes too, but I preserve the most important thing, my knowledge. But why? Why did you take this path? You'll never understand. Merlin, my one and only apprentice, proved to be a disappointment. He was strong and impudent enough to collude with the gods that were barred from, the wor from our world. Balance has to be restored, so I had to put myself on the other side of the scale. But you are a wild card that should have hidden while you still had the chance. Now it's too late, I'm afraid. Hmm. Okay, so he just fizzles out. Let's drop the hammer. 
Oh, can't do that. Oh, got the axe. Oh, nice. Not that we really need to, but we'll go ahead and scan the list in case. So, the Lich is Master Blees, Merlin's teacher who refused to die. Merlin is also immortal, but the difference between them is huge. Different powers bring different paths. Let's see what's inside the chest. Now let's collect our stuff first. Camelot, the true story. The true story of Camelot, the city of light, recorded by Master Blees, as told by the, Mer uh, the wizard Merlin. Many moons ago, humans purged their world of all the gods, both dark and light. Then came the age of man, but humans are weak and short-lived, and they quickly forget everything they don't want to remember. They forgot the endless wars waged by the gods, but, though, but chose to remember the prophets that the Dark Ones promise and the help of the Light Ones. Merlin, my disciple, became a powerful wizard, perhaps even too powerful. He trusted in the strength and noble intentions of the gods of light and was able to reach them through the barrier erected in the time imme immemorial. The gods, in return, made him crave the ability to change the world, crave the power to disrupt the course of history, and direct events along the way he considered right. For that purpose, Merlin took on Prince Arthur of Northumbria as an apprentice and brought him up as he saw fit. Once Arthur became king, he, together with Merlin, built the, gr the great stronghold of light, Camelot, and made it his capital. State affairs were handled by the best of the noblest knights who sat at the round table and justice reigned in the country. To Arthur, in, in turn, Merlin gave the, a sword of light called Excalibur, a sword that made its owner almost invincible and became a symbol of royal power. But the balance that had existed for centuries was violated and the dark gods also received their opportunity of, to influence the mortal world. Their primary goal became sowing discord among the people of Camelot. Pride and envy stirred in the night's souls, results in rivalry, treachery, and betrayal. They strove to perform meaningless feats just to reap glory, provoke wars, and organize crusades against other nations. Merlin forgot that where you let in light, darkness immediately follows. He had no choice but to witness as his dream came crumbling apart. King Arthur, overcome by thirst for glory, decided to kill the last dragon which slept under the cloud peak. He believed that the sword that granted him such exceptional strength could overcome the dragon too, but he was wrong. When he was alone, even with Excalibur in his hand, he proved weaker than the ancient beast. The dragon the king woke up dealt him a lethal wound. Merlin appeared by his side at once, but even he was powerless against the rending of the, dra of the dragon's claws, and so Arthur died. Merlin finally perceived the error of his ways and resolved to lead a life of isolation, but first he made a contract with the dragon. Merlin proceeded to magically weaken Excalibur and lodge it in a stone, never to be used again. In return, the dragon promised not only to refrain from attacking people, but also to help them if they came for advice. Thus, the age of the Fortress of Light came to an end, giving way to the age of uncertainty, as the gods once again wanted to make the mortal world their battlefield. Why did that rotten corpse leave it here? To him, the scroll has no value. He wrote it himself. He was surely hoping to find something else. 
I suppose I can take the scroll, but we've neither we found neither Merlin nor the sword, nor even a hint where they might be. Merlin and the sword. How did I not figure this out? He went to the ruins, to the stone. Now my circle has been closed. Well, I guess it's time to collect stones, as someone once said. Let's go to the ruins in the sparse wood. Alright, so there's only this one other fight over here. And then a crate in the back. I don't think there's anything else around here. And then there's the rest of the residents of evil, so we'll probably finish that off too. So, let's go ahead and get this fight and take care of. I don't know if that actually opens the area around that. There was swirling magic around one of these. There it is. I'm gonna go over here just to see if that does anything. Okay, since you guys can't seem to understand which way to go. Alright, come on guys, this way first. So no, that doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Well, let's go back to the resident, uh, residence of evil. Um, let 
Resident of Evil Dungeon. I'm going to pause and then I'll just restart the unpause it. Okay, so I've gotten to back into the Residence of Evil Dungeon. The... Uh, oh, I didn't notice there was a crate there. Okay. Um, so the area for level 2 is still shut. I don't know if that is triggered by something specific, if we have to clear out everything. Uh, there's no lever in the in this part of the dungeon, which was where that last, uh, like that mimic chest was. There's no other levers that I can find. And all the levers I do have have been tripped. So we're going to give this a shot and try to make, you know, do this fight one more time and see if we can make it. So Idril, Spectres are mostly dead elves. So you, I've already read this part because we fought this guy before, so I'm not going to read it again. Bring the hammer down. Let's try stunning him again. the mark. Okay. We'll do one attack. And we'll save the rest for ruin. Apply our shield.
Seem to be doing a little better this round. Bring the hammer down. Uh, let's do our bleed effect again. I guess he wasn't as eternal as he claimed. Yeah, lots of rhetoric and a little sense. You would need to return to the tavern to tell. We need to return to the tavern to tally. Alright. So I guess that's all we can do in this area. So let's start heading back. Because the rest of the residents of Evil 2. Is closed off. Hey, we can! Awesome! Don't have to walk all the way back. <laughs> Makes that easier. Any other quests in this area? No? Okay, let's head into the tavern. I don't know if this is good news or bad for you, but the specter is no more. Thank you. I hope his spirit has found peace. Immortality in ghost form is not what you want to see become of a person dear to you. You have our condolences. No, he died long ago. Here's your reward. Now please leave me to my thoughts. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wizard armor, level 18. Not high enough level yet. Uh, and he's not high enough level for his new armor. Okay. And his quest was to go further into the... Actually, let's talk to Trevor real quick. I may upgrade my sword because his sword is actually not doing too much damage. I mean, it's got extra damage from fire and piercing, but I think the next level sword may be doing more. Let's see. That's the current sword that you can have. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. And we can get this shield, but I think I'm just going to wait and get that shield whenever whenever we um, get to that point. So, yeah. Anything else I want to do? I don't think there's really anything else we can do. Let's 
go ahead and get the gloves. The helm is better. The helm I have is better. And the armor... The armor is better than what he has. But I don't want to switch his out because we're about to switch that out as soon as we level up. But we can go ahead and get that armor for him. So let's do that. Alright, so we'll give him the gloves and the sword. We'll go to him, we'll give him that armor. And these gloves are better than what he has. And let's go talk to Trevor again just to sell him back the stuff we don't need. We'll sell him the plate armor and the reinforced gloves. Probably, uh, we don't have enough gold. That's alright. I was going to say we could probably go ahead and get the... other... the, the shield, but we don't have enough gold for that. Okay, so that goes to the wizard at level 18. That goes to Arthur the knight at level 18. I got some decent armor. Her armor still stinks, but she's not ever meant to be in combat, so that's okay. But we're going to go ahead and... It's going to be a short video. We're going to go ahead and close it out here. Uh, it's just by a couple minutes shorter than our normal videos, but you know, I want to thank you for coming along. I feel like this is a good point to go ahead and stop the video rather than get into one fight and then nothing. Uh, so, you know, thank you for coming along. I do appreciate it. And if you do enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy creating them, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It does help out the channel, and I do appreciate it. And until next time, happy adventuring, guys.